Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is someone who is showing up as more uh, logical with how she's seeing the situation. It's like looking at the situation from a more, like removing your feelings and trying to be rational about something. This is also analyzing the situation and, um, you know, kind of, there's almost a detached energy about this Queen of Swords. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Two of Swords, Air Energy, the King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Page of Wands, Fire Energy. So someone could have already, or they are reaching out to you with the Page of Wands, um, but there, it's like an invitation, or there's something about this person that's triggering you to be on the defense. Um, with the Two of Swords, there's this energy of being suspicious. Um, you could really be analyzing what this person is saying to you, their message, or even if, if it is like they're inviting you somewhere, you're really thinking long and hard about it. For whatever reason, you have your guard up to this person. Um, you are seeing them as kind of immature or, you know, you're not sure of their intentions here. And there's an energy of um, really not making a decision when it comes to this person instead trying to gather the facts the information feeling like you need more information before you can move forward with something but it's like you're looking at it very practically or very logically because th th there's an energy of it's like you don't trust this person for some reason with the two of swords you're you're very guarded towards them you could have even had like a block in communication with this person and it's like they finally that block has been removed they're reaching out in some way and you're still you still got your guard up okay so let's clarify these cards um taurus okay so we have the page of cups water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so this person is looking for a fresh start with you. They have feelings for you. Their intentions are romantic. Um, they could even lead with that. They could be expressing some sort of emotion towards you. Um, but there's, again, it's like you're not sure about this person. But we have the King of Pentacles here next to this King of Wands. It's like this person is, they're reaching out to you quite casually. But um, they are, they have serious intentions. It's almost like, this person um they're showing you less than what they actually have to offer okay so let's see okay we have the four of swords air energy we have the knight of wands fire energy and the nine of wands fire energy so you could have history with this person in the past they could have been a bit of a player or they could have been selfish in some way with this knight of wands it's like they went about getting something that they wanted in a selfish way and you still associate them with that you're you're, you're cautious of this person you're guarded towards them you feel like you, do, you can't lower your guard when it comes to them because perhaps in the past you did and they let you down and with the four of swords it's like you've been on a break from this person um, but this person is still rushing towards you they're still passionate about you they still want to explore something here with you um, th this is someone who is adventurous um, but with that king of pentacles energy it's like they, they may exceed your expectations it's like you have very low expectations of this person um, because of the history you share with them um, so there is a message here about going slow with this person because there is the potential of them to show up as like a more matured version of themselves but there's also an energy of if you are to if you allow things to move quickly with them you could get the old version of them so there may be a need to continue being guarded with this person if you want to engage with them because i do see someone it could really go either way with this person okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you um taurus Okay, 
so we have nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon so there's that message again it's like this person it's not clear um what version of them you could get it's like it's it's almost dependent on how you respond to them okay so i'm gonna put another card for you so we have retreats it's time to disconnect from the world okay so there is again a message here about going within really checking on your own inner voice when it comes to this because the two are swords it can it can be indecisive energy so there may be a need to also disconnect from that energy rather embrace this queen of swords energy because it's like analyzing a situation but not to a paralyzing degree okay so i'm going to put another card for you So we have elegance and patience. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. So there's a message about taking things slow with this person. Um, also taking time with making a decision or accepting someone back into your life. Okay, so I'm going to plot a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, so we have surrender frustration frustration doesn't open any doors the key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath center yourself and regroup so that so you may approach the situation more calmly okay so that's the advice that's what i'm seeing for you taurus i hope you have a really really good day taurus bye taurus